Everybody knows how to spin the wheel. Let's go, wheel. It's so simple. Spin the wheel. But when you put insane amounts of money up there, come on, come on. I'm talking 500,000, 1 million, now we're talking. 2 million, yes! $3 million a spin. What? Let's play big. Now that is a different story. Is this real life? Come on. Now you're talking about the biggest game ever played. You are about to play a game that can make you a multimillionaire faster than any other game on the planet. Yes! Holy yes! smoke! A game where every spin roll, 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 roll. Come on. can make dreams come true. $23 million is on the line tonight. Yeah! Look at that thing. This game is all about positive energy, and with a little bit of luck, boom! Oh my God. You can win millions and millions of dollars. Come you on. are one spin away from fortune. No! No! Or one spin away from losing it all. game of trivia and chance. That was correct. Ah. Now we're talking. You need to get the pop culture trivia right. For two million dollars, you're absolutely right. And then you need the spins to go your way. No, 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 no. And then the end game and the ultimate risk. Ah, no. Will you play it safe? Don't hit the button, let it ride. Or will you spin the wheel? It could be a fortune, or it could mean game over. Yeah! With all this at stake, we don't let just anybody play this game. Tonight, we're giving that chance to Daniel Konzelman, an accountant from Tacoma, Washington, who was prepared when it came time to come to the rescue. He and each of his four brothers are Eagle Scouts. So when Dan came upon a derailed train disaster one morning on his way to work, he did not hesitate. Daniel was one of the first people to approach that scene, making his way through the mangled cars of that train. I just remember thinking like, I'm scared, but they're more scared, so I'm gonna be the strong one. Some of them walked out, some of them we had to dig out with our hands and feet and carry off the scene, so I was able to help at least 15 different people that day. Who better to get a shot at $23 million than this selfless Eagle Scout hero? It's time to spin the wheel. story. Thank you. What an instinct to come upon something that is that horrific and think I should go in there and see if I can help. My goal was to sort of be the, the strength and the confidence that maybe they didn't have in that situation because they had just been through something so traumatic. Uh, these roles are going to get reversed because I'm going to try to be a stabilizing force when you lose your mind, which is uh. going to happen very shortly. <laughs> Dan, you're about to play a game that can make you a multimillionaire faster than any other game in the world. Oh, my gosh. You're going to get 16 spins of this gigantic wheel. And if everything goes right, you could leave here with $23 million. Oh, my gosh. Round one is simple. We call this round quick spin. Here's how it works. You're gonna spin the wheel four times. I'm gonna ask you four questions. You're gonna okay. get 10 seconds to answer those questions. If you're right, we add the money you land on. If you're wrong, we subtract that amount of money. We have wedges on this wheel right now that are worth $100,000. You see them both there in the green. $200,000, $250,000. Payday doesn't stop there either. We have wedges for $500,000. Oh, man. And with four spins, you could leave this round with $2 million on the board. Wow. Dan, are you ready to play? Dude, I am so ready to All play. All right, now Let's listen, before it. you get up there, so the way you're gonna get this behemoth to move is you're gonna set it in motion with your touch. Okay. Thing. The speed and timing of each spin is randomly generated. Hop up there and let's spin the wheel. Spin number one, spin the wheel. Help me out here, wheel, there's a lot at stake. I've got some big dreams and I think you can take me there. Let's do this. Oh boy, here we go. And we're off. This is your first question of the round. Here are your buttons to ring in. 
As recognized by Oxford Dictionaries, the 21st century acronym FOMO stands for fear of what? Missing out or moving on? You have 10 seconds to answer that. All right, Daniel, you're locked in. Let's see what this first question is going to be worth. Let's do this. Come on, right there, right there. Here comes the $100,000 wedge okay. making its okay. way down. Oh, my God. Oh, get down there. Get down there. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, it's not dead. OK. $1,000. Good. What was your answer? FOMO stands for fear of missing out. And that is the right answer. Yeah. Oh, dude, good start. We're going to put $1,000 on the board. Dan, step up there and let's do spin number two. I wish you luck. Spin the wheel. It's huge. All right, question number two. In Texas Hold'em poker, which of these hands has the higher rank? Straight or flush? You have 10 seconds to answer that. You look a little nervous. I don't play poker. OK, what's it going to be worth? Dude, this is getting real. It's just got this real, real, real fast, <laughs> didn't it? Woo! Daniel, what was your answer? My answer was flush. It is flush, and we're putting $200,000 on the board. That's going to bring right. your new total to $201,000. That's a lot of money. We are ready for spin number three. Let's do this. Dan, spin the wheel. If you get this answer right, you can push your total to over $700,000. All right. Question number three. The TV series Game of Thrones is adapted from the fantasy novels of which author? George R.R. R. Martin or J.R.R. R. Tolkien? You have 10 seconds. All right. Let's go. Come on, Neil. Go, let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. A thousand it is. Your old friend, 1,000. We've known each other for six minutes now, so I feel comfortable <laughs> telling you this. My wife refers to me as a Stark in the streets and a wildling in the sheets. <laughs> I'm a big Game of a Thrones fan. Okay. You watch Game of Thrones? To be honest, I've never watched it. OK, you are the one American who's I'm, not yeah. seen it. OK. Yeah. Well, we found you. That's good. <laughs> Dan, your answer was? Not J.A.R. Tolkien it was the That's other one. Great. George R.R. R. Martin, <laughs> you're absolutely correct. Woo! Three for three. Going to bring your total up to $202,000. Time for spin number four. Dan, spin the wheel. All right. All right, Daniel, last question of the round. Here we go. What is the official national winter sport of Canada? Curling or ice hockey? <sighs> Let's go, Neo! I hope I was right on this one. That's so good. Come on. 250. Come on, come Keep on. going. Come on, buddy. All right, all right. Come on. 200,000. Right get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Right there. Let's come go. Let's go. On. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! I'll take it. $25,000. But what was your answer? Hockey. And I hope it's right. I think I was having the same thought process as you, which is okay. like, is this a trick question? Yeah. Curling, it's yeah. just weird enough that it could be. It could be, in but Canada, it wasn't. Canada. It's ice hockey. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. That's gonna bring your total to two hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars. Yeah. First four spins are behind us, and the money only gets bigger from here. Coming up, the entire family gets in on the game. I think that we should go all in. Do it, do it. As we up the ante to a million dollars per spin. Million, million, million. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Unbelievable! And later, a heart-stopping decision. So sitting in that box is like the pressure I've never felt right here, dude. <sighs> My decision was... Welcome back to Spin the Wheel! Yes. Daniel, your current total is an astounding $227,000 <laughs> off 
to a tremendous start. You brought some family with you today. I could did. You, could you introduce us? That's my beautiful mom in pink there. She homeschooled six kids and still likes us. She's here with us today. To her left is my incredible dad. He's been working for 52 years faithfully. And on the far right is my younger brother, Darian. Okay, well listen, it's time to find out who your partner in the game will be. Okay. The person you pick to sit in that chair is gonna have a lot of power over the game. The wheel is out of your control, but the amount of risk you take is up to your partner and will dramatically impact how much money you leave here with tonight. Who is that person for you? There's nobody I'd rather have on my team than my younger brother, Darian. That's a guy right there. Darian, welcome. Make yourself comfortable in this futuristic chair. You have a lot of power at your fingertips. Hidden from all of us is a secret button, and if you push it in this round, you will double the amount at stake for that question. But if the button is pushed and Daniel is wrong, it will also double the loss. With $500,000 wedges on the wheel, each question could cost you or win you $1 million. With all this money on the line, we have to keep you both from communicating, no eye contact, so we're gonna raise the screen in front of you, Darian. Four questions in this round, and with the button, a possible $4 million at stake. This is spin number five. Daniel, spin the wheel. There we go. Question one of round two. Here we go. Which of these planets is not mentioned in the lyrics of Frank Sinatra's song, Fly Me to the Moon? Okay. Mars, Jupiter, or Mercury? Daniel, you have 10 seconds to lock in your answer. Darian, you also have 10 seconds to decide to push the button. Come on, Rio, let's do this! Come on, come on. We're looking good, we're looking good. Here comes that half a million. Right let's go, 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 go. Okay. You think your brother knows a lot about Frank Sinatra songs? I think he knows this one because I sing it all the time. Oh. Did you double it? I doubled it. Oh boy, we are off to the races. Yeah. This question is now worth 50 grand. Daniel, what was your answer? I said Mercury. You are correct, it was C. Mercury. <laughs> Gonna bring her total to 277,000. Spin number six, okay. Daniel, spin the wheel. This spin could be worth a million dollars if Darian decides to double. On its trademark clear bottles with green caps, David Tran's signature brand of sriracha sauce features which creature? Rooster, Chihuahua, or Komodo dragon? You have 10 seconds to answer that. All right, we're in this. Come on, Leo, come on, come on. Let's go, 500,000, 500,000. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's do this, let's do this. Okay. 100,000, 100,000. Okay. okay, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It has to stay for five seconds. Wait, it's on the loose. 500, baby, 500. Yes! Okay, 5,000 beats a dollar all day. I like it. <laughs> Darian, did you double, my man? I doubled. Oh, wow. There's only one gear in the Darien transmission, and it's double. <laughs> so this question will now be worth $10,000. I eat a lot of this sauce, do you? Almost daily. Oh, <laughs> daily, you guys, there's something serendipitous happening today. <laughs> what was your answer, Daniel? My answer, I can't remember if it was cock or rooster now. <laughs> rooster, all right, that is correct, it is rooster. <laughs> We're gonna put 10,000 more on the board. It's gonna bring your total to $287,000. This is spin number seven. Daniel, spin the wheel. All right, let's do this. Yeah. A lot of money on that wheel. Let's go. Third question in the second round. Considered to be the first handheld cell phone, the Dynatac was unveiled in 1973 and first sold in 1984 by which company? Ericsson, Motorola, Nokia. You both have 10 seconds. All right, Neil. I don't know if this one, so let's be gracious. Come on. There. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. 250. Oh. All right. Stop, All right. stop, stop. Get All right. over there. Woo! Oh, boy. Okay. This could go both ways. 
I can't imagine you owned a cell phone in 1984, nor were you even born in 1984? Correct. Correct. Okay, so what was your answer? Motorola. Darian, did you double it? I didn't double it. Okay, good. Good. You weren't feeling strong about it, so he knows you. Yep. So this question stays at yep. 50,000. But you were correct. <laughs> You're absolutely right. 50 grand! It's gonna bring your total to 337,000. Spin number eight. Okay. Daniel, get up there and spin the wheel. Let's go, Danny. All right. Beginning in 1987 as a music festival, South by Southwest has expanded into film and other media. In which U.S. city does it take place? Austin, Texas, Santa Fe, New Mexico, or Las Vegas, Nevada? You have 10 seconds to answer that. How much will this question be worth? Let's go, Wheel. Time to work your magic. I want a 500,000. Let's go. This is looking good. This is looking good. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us Unless Dan knows something you don't, which something is impossible. Something I don't, which is highly <laughs> unlikely. Okay. What was your answer? Austin, Texas. The answer is my favorite city in the U.S., Austin, Texas. Yeah! You're going to bring your total to $537,000. Yeah! Coming up, Daniel spinning for $2 million. Big money and big decisions when Spin the Wheel continues. Coming up, Daniel begins to build the wheel. Wow. The strategy is key and the payoffs are huge. Go, 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 we have eight spins behind us. We have eight left to go. In round three, the money gets staggering. We've added two wedges, each worth a million dollars. But there are now two wedges on the wheel that'll take you back to zero. Now, round three is where the structure of the game changes completely. This is the round where you begin to build your wheel. How do you build your wheel? Well, it happens in these four lovely areas, these light blue sections. If you answer a question correctly, we will add money to those areas. But if you get it wrong, we will add back to zero wedges. The four questions are worth either 250,000, 500,000, 1 million, or $2 million. But for a $250,000 question, we add one back to zero wedge if you're wrong, all the way up to four back to zero wedges if you miss the $2 million question. Wow. Every answer is critical to getting the odds in your favor. All right. Because all the changes you make now are permanent and stay with you for the rest of the game. You will decide how much each question is worth, and to help you make that decision, we're going to show you the beginning of each question all right. before you decide. Okay. okay? Let's get started. Here we go. And I'm going to read you the beginning of your question so you can decide how much you want to wager. Which of these TV shows? And you can pick any one of those four. I'm going to play it safe here because this could be a really technical question involving characters and TV shows I may not have ever seen. Right. So I'm going to go with 250. Okay. For a $250,000 wedge or one back to zero wedge, here is the full question. Which of these TV shows was not based on a British series? Cash Cab, Hell's Kitchen, The Office, or True Detective? I've never watched or heard of True Detective. I've heard of Cash Cab, never watched it. Never watched Hell's Kitchen either, so. <laughs> I have watched The Office, so I think that my answer is going to be answer C, The Office. Okay. The original Office was with Ricky Gervais. It was a British show. It was phenomenal. So unfortunately, it was not The Office. Oh, no. The answer was True Detective. 
true detective. So we're going to have to put a back to zero on the board. But right or wrong in this round, your next spin always gives you a chance to put some more money on the board. So the wheel is set. This is spin number nine. The spin could take your total over $1.5 million. It could also wipe you out completely. So Daniel, let's spin the wheel. All right. Gonna bring your total to $737,000. Okay, we are now gonna play for this section of the wheel here. Okay, and I'm gonna read you the beginning of your next question. The most nominated musical in Tony Awards history. This question makes me really nervous, but I don't wanna leave the big numbers for the last two questions either because I might not know those as well. Cut it in the middle. All right, I'm gonna go with one million. One million. For $1 million, or three back to zeros if you're wrong, the full question is, the most nominated musical in Tony Awards history is about the life of the man presently featured on the front of which U.S. currency? $10 bill, $20 bill, $50 bill, or $100 bill? I'm torn between the $20 bill and the $100 bill. I don't remember which president is on which bill. Oh man, this is a big one. Uh, 20. My answer is 20. I'm going to lock it in. OK. Andrew Jackson, Okay. he's on the $20 bill. Alexander Hamilton is on the $10 bill. And he is the title character of Hamilton the Musical. OK. The answer was A, $10 bill. So we have to put three back to zeros on the board. These threaten that $700,000 and can wipe you out. Oh. It's not ideal, but the wheel gets better or worse, depending on what you get right and wrong. That's just the name of the game around here. But you know what? We're still in it. We're still you in it. What? We're still in it. That's the attitude, Danny. You're absolutely right. The wheel is set. It's spin number 10. It could take you to 1.7 million. It could also take you back to zero. Daniel, hop up there and spin the wheel. Come on, let's make this a big one. No back to zero. Oh, those three Come back on, to zeros are coming around. No, 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 no. Get past no. all that. All right, keep Get going, keep going, keep that. going, keep going, keep going. Ah! Woo, let's go, let's go. OK, I can't come up with one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Sometimes $100 can feel really good. Let's put that on the board. Your new total, $737,100. But we still have a lot of wheel to build. I will read you the beginning of your next question. A spoonful of sugar. Honestly, a question about sugar makes me want to go for two million. Do it, do it, do it. You guys are, all right, we're on board. All right, in, all two right, million. I like it. For two million dollars, or potentially four back to zeros. Your full question is, a spoonful of sugar, specifically common table sugar, goes by which of these names? Sucrose, cellulose, dextrose, or ribose? I think it's between sucrose and dextrose. I remember from the homeschool science class I took about 20 years ago. <laughs> My answer is A, sucrose. This is probably the most important question of the night. Yeah. For $2 million, you could really change the shape of this, this wheel. This could make it or break it all. Daniel, uh. that homeschool chemistry class is paying off. It was sucrose. Oh, yes! You're back! Yes! You're back! We're in it! We're in it! Yes! Your work's not done. Here's what's next. You just earned a wedge for $2 million, and it's up to you how it goes on this wheel. You can put all the money on one wedge, or you could split it evenly between two, three, or four wedges. Putting all your money on one wedge would be the most aggressive play. Yeah. Splitting the wedge, creating more real estate, is the safer play. Question is, what do you want to do? I think my strategy is going to be to split it 
three ways. Okay, three wedges in excess of $666,000. The wheel is set. It is time for spin number 11. This spin could take you to zero. It could also take you as high as 1.7 million. Daniel, may you land on one of your new wedges. Is this real life? We're gonna add six hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-seven dollars to your total. That's gonna give you one point four million dollars wow. on this board. Let's go. You only have one wedge left to play for, so I'm gonna get right into reading you your full question. This one will be worth five hundred thousand dollars or two back to zeros. Your question is, Michael Bolton. That's me. Wow, is that your real name? Yeah. Michael Bolton, a character in the 1999 comedy Office Space, joined his former co-workers to destroy which piece of equipment that often gave them trouble at work? Coffee maker, telephone, printer, or laptop? <sighs> I've never watched Office Space. This is just a guess in the dark. Automatically, I think printer, because in accounting, you print all the time, and they're always breaking down. My answer is C, printer. You are correct, it was printer. Oh my God! <laughs> so, you've earned a wedge for $500,000 and now it is up to you how you'd like to disperse that onto the wheel. Two. The wheel is set, I wish you luck, spin the wheel. Let's do this wheel. All right, all right. Let's go wheel, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, watch out for that cluster of back to zeros. Keep rolling. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
is the wheel you set all throughout the last round. You built this wheel. It's now all or nothing. With four spins left to go, the wheel has calculated your first walkaway offer at $140,358. There are six wedges on the wheel that could take you back down to zero and end your game. You can talk it over, but ultimately, Darian has the power. Darian, I would trust you with my life. I would trust you with everything that I have. And I know that no matter what decision you make, I will always trust you. Okay. We're ready for spin number 13. Daniel, let's get into position. One spin can change everything. It could be a fortune or it could mean game over. Darian, it is time to decide. The walkaway offer is right in front of you. Hit the button and that amount is yours, guaranteed. Take it or leave it, because we're going to spin the wheel in three, two, one. Let's spin the wheel. All right. Every spin from here on out is do or die. You have to avoid those back to zero wedges. Come on, come on, come on. This spin come could on. take your total to over $3 million. We're talking big money here, big money. Come Here on, comes come that on, million come dollar wedge, but there's a bunch of back to zero right behind you. Come on, give me everything you got, give me yeah, everything you got. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 you could have been leaving with zero. We don't know if Darian took that walk away. I'll take negative 200. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you can take away 200,000. You're still going to have $1,870,434. <laughs> now, it is spin number 14. When we reach 14, we add a million dollar wedge to the wheel. Boom. But anytime we increase the money, we also increase the danger. So we're oh, adding man. one more back to zero wedge. Oh man, yikes. So as you can see, this whole half of the wheel is the danger, danger zone. zone. Danger zone, da the danger zone. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Still have your sense of humor. If I were you, I would have had a heart attack by now. Okay. <laughs> You just lost money. But based on your current total, the wheels calculated your second walkaway offer at $195,318. Wow. There are seven wedges up there that will take you back to zero and end the game. Now, Darian may have already hit that button and taken the first walkaway offer. But if he didn't, feel free to plead your case to your brother. That's a lot of money up there, guys. Darian. I think that we should go all in and see if we can't win $1.8 million. We are ready. Spin number 14. Daniel, let's get into position. Darian, it's time to decide whether you want to take it or leave it. We are going to spin this wheel, Darian. Three, two, one. Let's spin the wheel. Here comes that Come million on, dollar on, win! Right there, million. I want to see a million. No back to zero. No back to zero. Go, go, go! Come on, come on. Get over there. Get on a million. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, boy. Okay. Get out of there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Oh. Woo! You're losing money faster than a sailor on leave. But it wasn't a back to zero, and a back to zero would have ended this game. We're gonna deduct 500,000 from your total. It's gonna put you at $1.37 million. When we come back, there's a lot of money at stake. We had a $2 million wedge to the wheel. You don't wanna miss it. Welcome back to Spin the Wheel. Let's get right back to the action. I'm here with Daniel, and currently he's sitting on just over $1.3 million. We have two spins left. Okay, it is spin number 15. At spin 15, we do something crazy. We add a $2 million wedge to the wheel. Boom, is that second. Oh, Look at that. Are you kidding me? 
But as you know, when we increase the money, we also increase the danger. So we're going to add two back zero wedges to the wheel. Oh, man. <laughs> OK. Based on your current total and the fact that you only have to dodge two more spins, the wheel has calculated your next walkaway offer at $225,469. There are nine wedges that will take you back to zero and end the game. You are one spin away from fortune or one spin away from losing it all. What should they do? I think it's spin. You think it's spin? I think it's spin. Well, this is spin number 15. We're set. Daniel, I wish you luck. Get up there and get in position. Darian, it's the walk away offer right in front of you. Take it or leave it. We're going to spin this wheel. All right. Let's in do that. Three, two, one. Spin the wheel, Daniel. Back to zeros to stay in the game. Come on, go big. No back to zero. No back to zero. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here come those back to zeros. No, 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 no
a zero, negative $100,000 sandwich, but somehow the filling is a $200,000 wedge. It's gonna bring your total to $1.37 million. The spins are over, the wheel has done its part, only one person knows how this game will end. How did Darian play it? Find out next on Spin the Wheel. Coming up, it's all led to this. Sitting in that box, I had a decision to make, Dan. One decision and one family shot at over $1.3 million. It's like the pressure I've never felt right here, dude. to say the least, but tonight we gave Darian the chance to walk away with guaranteed cash. And Darian is the only person in this arena who knows how much money they're leaving with tonight. So, let's recap what the walkaways were. All four were great offers, each of them in the six figures. So, I can tell you a little bit about what happened before Darian gets up here. Okay. He did not take offer number one. Darian's all cowboy. I can tell you that he did not accept offer number four of 368,000. Now I can also tell you that Darian did not take offer number three, the $225,000 offer. This means that you're either leaving with $195,000 or $1.3 million. This is a million dollar moment for this family. Darian, if you think your legs will still work, please stand up and join us on stage. Get up here, cowboy. <laughs> oh, Jax. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Darian, tell us what you decided. All right, Dan. The first thing I want to say is that when I got the call the day of the train derailment, they said, Dan is at the scene of the accident. He's helping people pray for him. It didn't surprise me that you went out and you did that because it's not the first time I've seen you do something like that. And it's not the first time you've been my hero. Mm. <laughs> Sitting in that box, I had a decision to make and it's like the pressure I've never felt right here, dude. And so, uh, if, you, if you feel my hand shaking, oh jeez. You're doing great, bubs. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> The decision I made was I bailed out at $195, $318. Darian, I'm so proud of you. I think you made the right decision. And I am so excited to be going home with $195. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, Listen to me. You're going home with $195,000. Anyone would want a brother like this. You guys are huge winners. Thanks so much for being on Spin the Wheel. On next.